Well, greetings, everyone. This is Aziza Sacred Wellspring here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Um, I just got a, a message from one of the loves. I, Harris, she was asking me if I saw the ships yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't see them because in North Carolina, it was overcast most of the day. But the solar energy push was pushing that right out. Because all my little ones were telling me about how white the sun was. Imagine that. The little ones know. So we're going to talk about that today. I'm only going to do a half an hour today. I find that um, it was necessary to do the lies and stay as long as. I'm back on. We're going to go into sharing information. And hopefully you guys can call in. There's no need to be shy about calling in. Um, we are all family here. We are all trying to learn. We are all trying to grow. So the number if you want to call in today is 980-549-1004. Let me type that in. We've got something special for you today. Yeah, I keep getting bumped off too, but um, try again, sister. Come on on Instagram. Um, this is Aziza Sacred Well Springs, Sacred Sister Soul Talks TV. It's bringing another production. Um, I was talking to a sister, one of my, my loves from um, the UK this week. And she's a professional chef by trade. And um, we always talk in the evening. She always calls to check on me. I call to check on her. We, we do our health check. We do our care calls with each other. And one evening I was um, warming up something in the microwave because that was the quickest thing to do. And um, she said to me, um, and somehow the conversation got to talking about um, Shungai. I never heard about Shungai. <laughs> So I, I was talking to the sister. So she is going to join us today. And um, hi, Sadea, Beijing for Life. How are oh, you? Hi. I'm good. <laughs> Feeling very shy and nervous, but good. <laughs> I am going to see if I can turn this lengthways, if it will work that way. Uh, see if you'll turn with me. No, it doesn't look like you can turn with me. So, okay, I'm back to I'm back to back to square, back to rectangle. Okay, so <laughs> hi guys. All right, so this sister um, introduced me to Shanghai. Now I have crystals, I know about crystals, but I had never heard about Shanghai, and I am excited for her to give us a little info about Shungai and what you can use it for and how she uses it. So take it away, sister. So this is the Shungai. You can get large blocks of it. There's a lot of light behind you. Is that better? There you go. That's better. So large Introduce block. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to the folks. I'm Sophia. And this is the Shungai. You can get large blocks of it. Oh. Polished shungai, or you can buy the pendants. Mm -hmm. Loads of different types, and then you can get shungai that I. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? I can see. Yes. Right. So it purifies the water and it protects from the EMF free radicals that are bouncing all around our houses because of all the radiation and Wi-Fi. And it's just extra protection to make sure that you are protecting yourself and grounding yourself as much as possible so that those things don't affect you. When you drink the water, it helps to eradicate all of those toxins that your mm -hmm. phones and the, the wireless routers and those things have. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. So how did you find out about it? How did you get connected with it. I'm not they're searching your brain. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think, how did I get into Shungai? <laughs> I just researched it because I was looking for stuff to put on the iPad and the tablets because I didn't like the fact that all of our oh. kids are using technology. We're all mm -hmm. using all these things. 
and I know they give out radiation. So right. I found out about the stickers which I have on everything, and then I found mm -hmm. out about Shanghai, and I was like, right, okay. My friend who who is very holistic and does spiritual healing, she sells mm -hmm. all crystals and Shanghai. So as soon as I found out that she had it, I went and I have it in every room, behind all the electronic devices. My daughter wears a pendant to school. I wear a pendant. Look, I've got loads. I've got one on now. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. So that kind of thing. <laughs> Somebody love your accent. So that kind of encouraged me to invest in getting some of this Shungite. Um, I got well, on You guys the... have much better deals in the US than we have here. Much oh, better. Wow. Deals. Much better. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I got on, on this right away, and I ordered some from me, so hopefully it'll be here soon. Um, because I know years ago when Dr. Delbert Blair was alive, um, he spoke about um, diodes. And the Shanghai kind of, after researching it, it kind of reminded me of the diodes. And he spoke about diodes since 1998. Wow. Exactly. And he talked about the radiation, uh, putting, you know, putting it, with your electronics and stuff like that. But at the time it was so expensive just to get a diode. Uh, and he talked about using the phones as well. Yeah. But at that time to get a diode, my goodness, I could not afford three or $400 for something that small. Yeah, no. You know? So to know that something as natural as Shungite um, can help people. And that's what we are about here is, getting that information to people and, and sharing it so that people can live their best life, if you want to put it like that. So You can get black tourmaline as well and hematite. They both help. But I have shungite. And mm -hmm. you can get shungite pyramids, little discs that mm -hmm. you can put in your pocket, the pendants, earrings, jewellery, mm -hmm. you name it. But I make sure that me and my daughter are constantly wearing it when we're out. Mm -hmm. And at home, it's in every room. Wow. And then we wow. drink the water daily as well. Wow. I ordered a ton for me because I, I'm going to make sure that I am as protected as well because um, I'm outside a lot. Um, doing this broadcast, I use a lot of technology. We have the TV, everything else. Yeah. And the thing is, I don't have a television in the bedroom. I don't believe this did. I don't like a television in the bedroom, um, but I am I'm investing in that to put on all my electronic devices that would help protect me um, yeah. from any fake radiation that's coming in that yeah. can, even a microwave. No, I, I feel kind of guilty using the damn microwave. <laughs> I, I, you. <laughs> I kind of feel beautiful. I feel Awkward. I didn't say one word. Not one word. I <laughs> you know, it was it was just easy to just put food in in that, and you know, but and the foil. No more aluminium foil. No more microwaves. No more. No foil. more foil. Yo, man. I, I, I was talking to a lady in the market, and I tell her just doing anything healthy now is so expensive. Just to because you, you know you think about it before you do it. And this yeah. is all our natural's fault too. <laughs> I'm gonna share the blame. But I think that when you think about it, yes, it seems expensive. But when you think about, mm -hmm. like I drink and I smoke, so if I can spend money on cigarettes, I can buy stuff that's better for me than anything else. So yeah, I true. don't. Before I don't, I don't quibble about it anymore. The Shanghai, mm -hmm. I've spent a hell of a lot of money, but the peace of mind knowing that it's not affecting her and affecting me the way it could be, that's uh -huh. great for me. To the point where my five-year-old is like, Mom, you forgot my Shungite. She won't Ooh. leave the house without her Shungite. So, oh, my goodness. It's, it's all that positive. That is awesome. That is awesome that you can um, have that kind of connection with her. And, and so it's such a young age, too. You know, that's the way we are, though. That's how we taught our children, right? Yeah. Um, to make them aware. And I love, I love that connection you have with her. Cause you yeah. know she's a little she's a little warrior. She's here to do her thing. She's here. When you drink the Shungite water, you taste how clean it is. That's the uh -huh. first thing you notice is the difference in the taste. Like you put the Shungite, you wash it before you 
use it. Okay. You put it in the water for three days. You've got to leave it for three days. It has to be a glass container. Then okay. you let that water purify for three days and then you drink it. And then in two weeks, you rinse the shungite just to wash away any residual bacteria, fill it up okay. again. But I constantly okay. purify it and then you can decant it into something else and keep refilling oh, wow. because it oh, does wow. take three days to clean the water, but it's a massive, uh -huh. massive difference. So does it matter if it is tap water or bottled water? Well, I, I, I don't have a filter. I, I'm using the tap because mm. the tap, I need to buy a filter, but right now I just don't have five, six, seven hundred dollars to invest in one. You can use bottled water. I tried it with the bottled water and I noticed it just tastes amazing. But again, <laughs> it, what can suit your pocket? Uh huh. Well, Jennifer, you're asking how you can get it. Um, you can order from Amazon or you can order from me when I get my name. Hint, hint. Um, because um, I'm going to do something special with that as well when it comes in. I'm not just going to bring it in and then just start using it. Um, there's a whole ritual for me to do it, to make sure um, that it is going to give me the best energy boost that I need. And these are the times that we need that energy boost considering every day it is something different, every day is something new. Every day, one of our celestial brethren or sister um, are showing themselves. So as more planets come in, more energy, more energy is coming in and um, much changes is happening. Yeah. So I was happy when this sister shared that's, that was her purpose. You know, and that's what we keep saying. This whole, this community has a wealth of information to share with each other. And before we had taken off, um, before they shut down everything, it is important that we get this out to each other so we can we can be our best and live our best lives. So like I said, I, I didn't mention it before because I know that you use crystals, so I just assumed that you already uh -huh. knew about it. And then no, it like, never heard about, about it. Never heard about it. I've heard of tourmaline, and I've, I've, I have some tourmaline, as I showed you, and hematite, but I've never heard yeah. of the shungite. And um, we we talked about the charcoal as well, yeah. But the shungai was something new, so that tells me at this time I was supposed to know. And yeah. whoever is here on this stream is supposed to know about this this shungai and what it can do for us at this time. You know, yeah, because like it's I like have, a time where we mm -hmm. go ahead, sister. I have a big block in the front room. I have pieces all around her bedroom, and then I have two pieces that are under her pillow were my pillow and then the main piece for the bedroom so that my goodness yeah man so protection I, like all I, around. You, I have uh -huh. to be because i told you there's things outside there that i know are emitting frequencies right outside my window so i have to make sure Ooh. i do my best yeah to make sure that we are protected here yeah so you got to get our file up soon yeah <laughs> Well, thank you. Anything else you want to share? You want to give us any tips on anything else before no, we... No, <laughs> I <go now. laughs> uh, uh, Our natural said the collective consciousness is real. I found my shungai that was misplaced months ago just before I tuned in. Wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. There it is. <laughs> there it is, y'all. So this is the time to have it. This is the time to have that shungai. So if you're wondering, you can order some from Amazon. Um, it's pretty reasonable. Um, you can get the raw pieces. I would yeah, prefer the raw pieces. Right. You can get the raw pieces. And uh -huh. you can get the, the elite is just astronomically priced. For yes. every day you, like the elite is really pretty ornate pieces. But uh -huh. the practicality... You don't really need elite shungai. You can get exactly. normal shungai. You don't need to spend crazy amounts of money because it looks exactly. so beautiful. Exactly. But that's the thing I always tell people. Crystals are rocks if you don't know what to do with them. They're just yeah. pretty rocks, you know? But if you know how to infuse that with your energy because that has um, aura and naturals to it, 
and you're the same thing. So when you hold that, you in, you, when you hold any walk, anything at all, you inject that energy from you to it and yeah. thereby charging it. So a, a crystal is just a rock if you don't know what to do. Yes? Yeah. About the intentions so, that you speak into it and intention. the love that you exactly. put into it. Exactly, exactly. Well, I love this. Anything else you want to share with us? I don't even no, want to let I you mean, No, <laughs> I want to go now. I can feel the redness under my skin. Oh my God, you're gorgeous, you're gorgeous. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We are going to go to um, Nyasha Elaine and we'll be right back, you. How, do I, you. how, do, I, how do I leave? I don't know what I'll, to I'll, do. I'll leave, I'll, I'll boom. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So that was Sister Sadea from the UK sharing with us how she uses Shungite. Um, today I had never heard about it, but I'm grateful that we spoke about it. And that's why I said a community, we're building a community of people online to share in information with them, how they can navigate these interesting times. And I was talking to my friend, um, Joe, the other day, and I was saying to her, this is the best time to be alive because we chose to be here for this moment. We chose to be here to witness all of this. And um, all week long, I've been getting some downloads, even my little ones. And let me speak about the children for the moment. Um, if you have young children, they are becoming, they are returning to help fight, to help fight in the, in the spiritual realm. A lot of them are complaining of being tired, um, being weary. They go to sleep early enough, but wake up tired. That's because in the spiritual world, they're doing battles for this moment. Okay, in the spiritual world, it's a whole different ball game than being here in the physical. So when they wake up, they're tired. These children are here to help fight for this moment. They chose to be here. There are the warriors that we so we always spoke of. There are the Egyptians returning. There are the Sumerians returning. There are spirits returning from a long time ago. Spirits even from other realms are coming in. I, I love our growing family too. Um, spirits from other realms are coming in at this time to help us navigate these trying times our solar family or night family they are coming in as well um just the other day i posted um um the moon that um was how would you put it mercury and the moon are now in our night sky um, we're going to get some more full moon energy coming in as well. Saturn and Jupiter, they're still there. Then we have Mercury, which is undergoing planet, male and female. So we talked about the Bible spoke of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Bible already speaks of this time where we have Saturn, the Father, Jupiter, the Son, and then we have Mercury, the Mother, which is the, tri the Triune. Okay, we've got that energy coming in. Um, some of the downloads I'm getting, let me just share a little with you. Um, Earth is in an ascension phase of our spiritual or spiritual development or evolution. Earth is a sentient being. What does sentient mean? Sentient is defined as being able to experience feelings, res uh, response, to consciousness of a sense of impression and capable of feeling things through physical senses. So what, basically what a sentient being is, is it's able to feel. We are becoming sentient ourselves. Earth was once like us, not obviously the physical body, but the, the spirit within. So Earth is experience that, experiencing all these feelings that we experience as human beings. Sentient beings experience wanted emotions like happiness, joy, and gratitude and unwanted emotions in a form of pain. Earth has suffered 
for centuries. She was raped, pillaged, bombed, neglected, and abused, disrespected. She has been deforested so that other men could build cities without any care for her or all of the different forms of life that inhabit her. It's not just us, it's every other life that has been affected. Her waters, the seas and lakes and rivers has been polluted and destroyed. She's in pain. You see, her being, her beginning was before all of this was. Earth was evolving, forming and becoming. Tara is her name. Tara, she's an ancient traveler. She's traveled many galaxies. She's earned her position to become sentient. The elder councils called all the light orbs to assemble, to honor Tara, to celebrate her new place and her new station. Tara was elevating to become the spirit of this new planet. It was the greatest honor celebration. Tara knew what this meant. It was her elevation. It was an elevation in rank. We were all excited for her. Some of us would help her through this phase, this journey, coming to her aid at different times. Then something happened. The dragons emerged from a time far off and we were lost in our memory. We would go home, we could not go home and we kept coming back at different times. We, would, we could, wouldn't, couldn't care for her anymore. We were cut off. The pain started. The loneliness became her norm. She cried out, but it would be centuries before she got the help she needed. The elders always came and re-energized her to keep her healthy until the appointed time. You must understand, we all have to go through our journey of evolution, growth, and learning. So too did she. As a sentient being, she was evolving to her next phase. She earned it. A time has come. She is going to the next level. She's going to 5D and beyond. This is a wonderful time for her. The guardians are awakening. We are the guardians. The soul tribe is remembering. Her planetary family came as they did more than 4 billion years ago. They're here for her graduation. Her grandfather and grandmother, Sat-Ur, sat -ur, her brother, Jupiter, Ur, Mercury, her mother, Mars, and the moon, and Apsu, the sun, that kept the light. They're all here to see her while giving her the energy to shift to a new state of being. Great-grandfather Uranus will also make an appearance. Help on the physical has also arrived. The soul family of the children of her guardians are here to breathe the inner love, loves that affected her growth. The indigo seeds, the crystal children, the star seeds, the light orbs are all here to aid her, to raise her frequency. This is the greatest shift, the great and true awakening. So there you have it, folks. We were once, most of us, we were once there with Tara. When the council called us, we said we would support her because this was her time. She was injected into this earth more than 4 billion years ago to help it evolve. We chose to come here to help her evolve. We kept coming back because we didn't have a choice. 
we were locked in. Our time is fast approaching when we will return home to the place we once knew. Some of us from Andromeda, some of us from Aldebaran, some of us from Cassiopeia, some of us from Earth, greater and bigger than this, will return and one day revisit Earth once more. This is a great time for us to be alive. This is a great time, and this is how we choose to connect at this time. So on that note, I will say if you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, any comments, my love Nayasha Elaine isn't here today. Any comments? Anybody want to say anything? Any downloads they've been having? What their children have been experiencing? When your babies start acting up, as people would say, listen to them because they have messages coming from the other side. Yes, I am saving the live. Um, any questions? Any questions? I know you guys have been feeling it. Um, in the coming weeks, it'll get more intense. Don't panic. It must happen because we're cleansing. It must happen. Be that support for each other and help each other through. If we should be cut off from social media, note that we've already had the instruction that we need to move forward. Last week, I told you guys about getting your grab bags together. Um, and people have been listening, and people who probably are not on the stream, I went into Walmart today to get me um, some uh, um, free a stove and um, gas and what's not, and they were sold out. All of that is necessary. That's your heart chakra, and I can guarantee you it's not your lower heart. It is just above, just below your throat chakra that you've been feeling that palpitation. That's your healing. That's where the divine needs for you to heal. How you're going to heal that? You get a green quartz or um, a pink quartz crystal, and you keep that close to you. You wear it in your your jacket or shirt or what have you, that crystal will help remove some of that energy, that negative energy that you've been feeling. But don't forget to charge your crystal. You have to charge your crystal as well. So when you take, remove it from your chest, put it in your window so that it can receive the sunlight or the moonlight. Okay? So here we have Nayasha. Hi, Empress. Hi, honey. How are you? I am fantastic. I am truly fantastic. I've been feeling the, the divine goddess all around me today. It's almost, I almost felt weepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm feeling her. Butane is good. Exactly. I, I got one of those little stoves, but mm -hmm. I, and yeah. I, I'll show you guys the stuff that I bought. Um, I bought some lighted bricks as well. Um, some more lighters. Let me see what else I bought. Um, those little canisters, I think you have your barbecues and stuff that you can put yeah. underneath to warm up. Those can work as well. The kerosene. Thingy. Yeah. I got lighter fuel. I am playing. I mean, that, <laughs> that Ooh, I, I, mean, <laughs> I got some more I, yeah. yeah, exactly. I've been really emotional today. and It's not that I don't know why. It's not that something didn't, I just felt that energy coming up. And when it comes up, I just let it happen. I'm not suppressing that anymore. You know, mm -hmm. just allow it to happen. And know that you have this family right here. So sister, go ahead. You only got mm -hmm. a few yes. minutes. That. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jennifer, she said sterno. I said, yes, that. I okay. couldn't get to, we couldn't think of the name of the little cans. 
Right, right. <laughs> right, family. So we got a few more minutes, 14 minutes. Today is, um, it's an emotional day. It's not too overwhelming, but it, you can feel all of the energy. Yes. You can feel of everything. Like, I'm actually tired. Mm. I need a nap, but then I need to eat too. So I'm kind yeah. of cooking and talking and listening. Yeah. Yeah. So I said today's a good day to just relax. Self care Saturday. Self care nice Saturday. Day. Find you yeah. a movie or some music. I think Stop. I'm going to read my book. I was listening to some music earlier, some collect song, girl. I was, I was throwing it down. You just told me, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was in the kitchen doing my thing, you know, and I was feeling it. And I said, you know what? Today I'm gonna relax. I'm not mm -hmm. hungry, but I have a, a hunger headache. Yeah, I don't see, know if I, that makes sense. I, I got to force myself to eat. Well, I've know? been running since this morning, doing. You know, my baby wanted to do the breakfast and stuff. For the people, I said okay. So I was out early with that. Then I had to go to the post. I did everything. I probably mm -hmm. just got in about four thirty. So I've been wow. on the phone since about nine thirty this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made it to the barbershop though. I did that. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, that's the vision of me. You know, as <laughs> much as we we come and we share knowledge and we want you guys to, uh, and we're working on some really great stuff to bring to you guys. But we're also bringing real time downloads this is no bullshit we're just coming on here and talking crazy when we get those downloads and you guys are going to get that too if you haven't already been getting those downloads but we've been taught if something comes to us just throw it through the, oh that doesn't apply that's the goddess that's the divine mother giving you the information you need for this time or sentient family They're here to help us through this moment. They're here to enjoy this, to see a tower grow, grow as well. They're not just here for you. They're here for her. They're here to see Tara, and that's the name of the earth. And people, the next thing we got to do is start calling ourselves black people. Let's start calling ourselves the indigenous people or melanated people. Let's change that narrative. Yeah. Because when you can identify with the indigenous people, your attitude is different. Because you are, you can relate. It's more relatable. You're relating to self at that point. You're exactly. not self stereotyping. You're mm -hmm. by saying you're black people or African American people. You're taking on titles that people gave you. Exactly. That's who you are. You can't walk in who you are if you're you, being called by somebody else. Exactly. You're not black. You are indigenous. You're indigenous to, to this earth because you seeded it. And don't think in terms of now, you, some of you have been here for billions of years. Tara came uh, such a long time ago um, because it was her evolution. She is like going through, we were, she came through college. She's getting ready to go to university. Yeah. She's getting ready to take another leap. And she's excited for it. There's much pain because she held herself back to allow other beings to be here because they destroyed Maldek. They destroyed their home world. So she allowed them to be here. So the least, that's why all of us, all you see, all of the planets are coming because she did a wonderful thing. She held herself back. You can't imagine holding your gifts back. So now they are here to say, yes, we are here to support you, Tara. And call her by her name, her, not Earth. Her, you are. That's why you get Saturn, Earn. That's why you get Jupiter. The original name for Earth was Earth, you are. Mm. Okay? So let's get mm -hmm. it, let's get it right. And these are, this is all information that the divine is just giving. I was telling Niaja yesterday, the little kiddos, and, and that's why I said, let's talk about the children, because our children, some of them are empaths. And they're, they're vulnerable. Empaths. They're, when you see them miserable and crying, they can't verbalize what they're feeling. So mm. this is when you have a conversation with them and ask them questions. What are you feeling? What are you seeing? Right. Tell me what you're seeing. And you can't and have, ignore it. Exactly. They're not just misbehaving because right. 
they can't tell you. These are not just indigo children. They're crystal children coming in. They're leaving their home planets and coming here to help Tara and by extension us evolve. They're fighting in the spiritual world because they're still connected to the divine. They're as the young as they are, they're, they're still pure. connected. They're the purest. Their hearts are just like little sponges. So, whew. Look, mm. how, oh, you're absolutely right. Though. Our babies are very vulnerable right now, especially with all that's going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of parents aren't understanding that. And they're getting frustrated. And they want to put yep. them on indefinite timeouts. And you can't do that. You got to talk to them. You got to talk to them. And all those children that were sacrificed through rituals, all of those spirits are back. All of them are coming back. They're coming back to do battle. The divine in one of my meditations showed me all the ships that are there waiting to come to, to do what they need to do. Ooh, we're getting ready. To, we're in. Ooh, this they have a whole other black list, black market of foul trafficking going on right now where they're shipping them out of the country again. But it's coming out of Boca Raton. Mm. A lot of people in Florida. When Listen, y'all. You got to protect the babies. I don't even like to talk about the children because then I get all emotional. Yeah. Yesterday, my little kiddos, and I guess it's because they see me during the day looking at the sun and they always show me the moon. Mm. But yesterday was uniquely special because we're outside. And they were like, Miss Abby, look at the sun. It's white. And all of, not just one or two, but all of the children were looking at this big sun. Where you can, I was trying to look at it, but you couldn't, you saw the orb, but all around it was just these, um, what we call sun rays, just extending as far as I can see. The earth was being bombarded with solar energy all yesterday. No chemtrail could start up because it pushed all of them chemtrails out. It yep. brought all of those beautiful clouds in. I okay? watched the clouds today. The clouds exactly. are blowing differently. And I'm just sitting there in the parking lot waiting to get my hair cut. And I'm like, it's cold, but it's beautiful outside. It's cold, but it's beautiful. So we are in the second phase. And, and Wednesday, I'll go into a little more. We're in the second phase of ascension. We are in the second phase. It isn't coming. It isn't going to come the end of the year. We are in the second phase. They've given me a time around when it's possible that some of us will leave. They're showing me May. They tell me March is a little faded, April is a little faded, but May is boom in my face. May, June, anywhere around June 20th, we're going to see people starting to leave. Okay? Yeah. You're going to wake up, you're going to be like, I haven't heard such and such for a while, not to be found anywhere. Some of us will leave. Some of the children will leave. Yeah. Well, I told you Start I had the night. We are and in the second phase. I can't stress enough. You got to get everything, all that we've been going through, all the stresses we've been going through. We've been being purged and prepared for this moment to help those get to the next level. Okay? When Uranus makes itself known, Uranus is the grandfather to Saturn. Saturn has to submit to Uranus. Okay? Look, I'm getting all caught up. You're teaching. Listen, you tell us what you want to tell us. You ask me to tap in, I come and tap in, but I'm more than welcome. Look, I'm happy to sit here and just learn. Ooh, it's, it's just coming through. Uranus is making himself known. He's the grandfather of it all. When Uranus shows up, it is done. Y'all may not ha have an inauguration on the 20th. It's not going to happen. Okay? That these people. It's not going to happen. The old system is dead and gone. It isn't coming up. Right now, this is a pantomime. 
we are entering a new phase of energy. The goddess has been released. The, the Vatican is no more. The goddess energy has been released. The Vatican never should have been. I'm just okay. going to say that. Her energy has been released. That's why we are now here. That's why we are now doing this. Because her energy has been invoked. Okay, people? Has been invoked. Her energy is flowing through. Her energy is now located in South America. The blue flame is now located in South America. The blue flame is a flame that goes to the center of the earth to re-energize and reactivate. I'm just telling you the downloads that's coming through as mm -hmm. I'm speaking. China was trying to get to Taiwan to get to that heart flame. The blue flame is the heart flame. If you can control Taiwan where the blue flame was located, then we would be back in slavery. But the blue flame relocated itself to South America. The blue flame is the heart chakra of the of whew, of Tara. Okay. So that's where you see a lot of cataclysm is happening in South America, Trinidad, Venezuela, all of that. All of a sudden, all of that is under. That's why you found a lot of these celebrities starting to flock to Brazil. A lot of UFOs have been going in and crashing in Brazil. Because that's where the flame, that's where Earth's energy is now located. Earth is flipping. Okay, y'all? I did hear that it was tilted on its axis a lot more. It is flow. It's because it, the moon has flipped. It isn't that the moon has so much has flipped. It's that Earth now has flipped. She's doing this. She's like, uh, uh. It's kind of like I'm, a baby crowning when it's ready exactly, to be Exactly. Exactly. Many to, many moons ago, when I had my store and guys would come in, I would say to you, the mother, the goddess, the divine. She's in labor. She's moving. She was restless because she knew Tara was getting ready to go through the womb of creation. She was coming out. This is Tara's coming out. Okay? I'm just sharing what she's giving to me right now. It's like a crowning. Ooh. Mm. Okay. The energy's left. But okay, let me get it together. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that was it, people. It is 5.30. She wanted to give you guys that. Sorry, sis. Wednesday, we going to do this again. What are you sorry for? I just, yeah. Listen, okay. what do we do? We follow our orders. Whatever it is that we're supposed to do is what we do. Whatever it is you're supposed to share is what we share. It's... We have a plan, but God always has a different plan. We get our, we get laughed at. This is a laugh at moment because there was something that you needed to put out there. Yeah. And, and you did it. Okay, folks. Well, on that note, I hope you guys got we love you. two weeks of food stuff. I'm going to keep reiterating that. Get your two weeks of food stuff. If you can get six months to a year, get at least two weeks of food stuff. This thing is going to happen any day now. Wait. They keep putting this going to happen. They've been putting different information out there because yeah. they're, trying to throw, <laughs> they're trying to throw the deep, the, the deep state, the cabal, all that off. We don't care about none of that because we're divinely protected. Protected. If you're on the stream and you hear this this video, you watch it. That may that energy that protects us all flow to you and in case you and yours, you are protected under Tara's wing. May that energy flow and protect you and guide you. I'm telling you, get your two weeks. You still have to prepare for anything that's going to come. Get your water. 
that you can at least, you know, have that for the kiddos. Start looking out for them. Get your shungai. Um, shungai, I'll have some in once I get in. If you guys can get to it and I get my in, I'll show you. If you want to get some, just let me know. I'll get it straight to you. Get your, your stuff. Get it together, y'all. This is no baby holding hand now. This is mama bringing out that damn tamarind rod and whipping your ass. Get up and start doing uh, this. Get your sh get it together. I love As it. One of my little done. kiddos said yesterday, "Get it together." I okay. Love you that, that little facefulness. Yes, I'm sending you guys love, and light. May the universe embrace you in her love and light. May the divine send you all that you need in these trying times and know that the lands will be returned to us. This is our time. Yes. Okay, indigenous people, we ain't calling ourselves black no more. We indigenous, y'all. Indigenous, indigenous queens, empresses, and all that. We indigenous, okay? On that note, sister, anything you want to say before we go off? No, I love our little family. I love the information that we all share with each other. We're not just resourceful, but we're resources. That's right. That's right. That's so guys, meet us back here Wednesday, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. And um, we'll drop some more information, some more, t excuse me, Woo! some more tips. Oh, look at me burping on <laughs> that TV. I'm sorry, having a Wendy Williams moment. Shoot. But we'll be back here on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, I can't. I a <laughs> we'll, we'll be back here on Wednesday night. Um, hopefully, we'll be back here because a lot is going to happen this week, okay? A lots and lots happening on the political level. Um, a lot happened on a spiritual level. Don't be surprised when you see ships coming up. You'll know when they are the real deal because there's going to be a lot of false flags coming out too, okay? The draconians are right now, they are trying to reignite the earth grid to, for their own benefit. <laughs> no, Wendy. <laughs> I burnt <laughs> as the kids was <laughs> but um those who are to ascend at this time you will know if it is real. You will know if and when it is real. What they're gonna put out there, don't get caught up. You will know, you will know, you will know. Yeah? So thank you guys for hanging. We will see you back on Wednesday. On that note, this is Aziza Sacred Wellspring from Sacred Sister Soul Talks TV saying bye. Good night, everybody.